Welcome to Trionic 7. I thought I'd make a slightly different video for you today. And uh, it's not about the Saab as it usually is, but rather about the Xenon lights. For those of you who have followed my channel, you have seen that I have a video on how to change the Xenon light bulbs on your Saab 95. And a very observant watcher of that video saw something interesting. The Saab 95 wants a D1S lamp and there was actually a D3S marking on the lamp itself. And this made me think and I did some research about this and eventually I found out that the lamps I had installed in that video were fake. And that also explained why those lamps have been failing for the last six months on and off. This lamp is confirmed to be a fake, the one inside this box. This one here I believe to be genuine, but I should point out that I haven't gotten confirmation from the manufacturer yet. The first thing you want to look for is the packaging. Obviously you see a tear here, and this was the way I got this lamp. I believe someone has been inspecting them before I got them. And let's hold them up to the light. The bright light source. This is hard to catch on camera, but quite easy to see in person. Uh, this cardboard is much shinier than the genuine one. You see the light becomes much more uh, smoothed out on the genuine one than on the fake one. It's more The fake one has more of a glossy feel to it. There's also a difference in the actual printing. I don't know if that's because the fake ones have copied another type of lamp. But I, so I wouldn't put too much weight on this. However, at least here in the EU, we have EU stamps on this. I don't know if that's, if Osram lamps have this all over the world, but at least on these lamps, there's an EU flag. And the printing is quite bad on the fake one. You see the EU flag is misshaped, but the EU flag on the genuine one seems to be quite good. There's also gonna be quite a lot of bad printing on the fake one. Now there's a sticker on the genuine one, so I can't show you, but the printing on the Osram logotype on the top is very bad. And there's some bleeding in the colors and, well, you can see that it's not very good, at least in person. The sign for not putting the lamps under the rain is very distinct. You can see that there's large droplets here and small droplets here. Now I have opened the packaging and uh, taken out the lamps themselves. And again, the fake one is on the left and the genuine one is on the right. And there's some minor differences you can see here. On the left, the printing is not very well made, especially on the high voltage symbol. And looking on the serial numbers and the text, this is Germany and DOT, it's well, it's not really unsharp, but compared to the genuine one, it's it's not that sharp, actually. So this won't help you very much in telling a lamp apart on its own. But maybe you can check this image here on the video and compare it to what you have. Also something to check is the E1 marking here on the, on the left. The tiny E1 mark under the D1S sign. This should be printed in approximately the same way as here. But again, my fake that I got was actually pretty well printed on this part. Another thing to note is that when you open the packaging, at least for me, the fake ones came like this, in a sort of plastic foam protectant. But the genuine ones came in a sort of toilet roll thingy, of cardboard or something. So I hope this video was useful for you to spot fake Osram lamps. There's many fake Osrams on the market today and unfortunately even honest sites that sell you lamps can be fooled by a dishonest distributor. So you might not even know and the seller might not even know that the lamps are counterfeit. So I hope the tricks I gave you in this video will help you identifying them as fakes. The Saab 9.5, which is the car I'm driving, is notoriously sensitive to bad scene and light bulbs. And I'm hoping 
that I haven't destroyed the Xenon system in the car yet. So again, this channel is called Trionic7. We're on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram, and also Reddit. And do send me some comments to this video if you have any questions or if you want to know more about these lamps. I have them here side by side, and I can check up on more stuff if you need to. I'm going to install this in my car now, and uh, hopefully I can give you an update video in a few months or so to see if these lamps worked or if I need to check on something else. So again, hope you liked the video, and see you again next time. Goodbye.